If you like Zac Efron, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, old man. Oh, my nuts. Why the fuck do you keep fighting? Oh, oh. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. That Awkward Moment, 2014. Dude, go big. Do you like the movies? Yeah, I like the movies, yeah. But Jerry Maguire. I love that movie. I love that movie, man. So good. You had me at hello. What? That Awkward Moment is a 2014 romantic comedy drama film written and directed by Tom Gormican and stars Zac Efron, Miles Teller, Michael B. Jordan, Imogen Poots, Mackenzie Davis, and Jessica Lucas. Three best friends, Jason, Mikey, and Daniel, are determined to stay single together because of their pact they once entered into, which includes not seeing women more than twice a week. But that is not as easy as it sounds. The boys have to juggle their single life with their romantic entanglements, and it's going to get awkward. I love the way that she looks in the morning. Like, really? the exact moment when she wakes up and her eyes just open like two little butterflies. Two little, I love that. I love that. Yeah, man. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah, either. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Number nine. We Are Your Friends 2015. Her sucks. Ella's dead. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Cole. Can you play Drunk in Love? Absolutely not. We Are Your Friends is a 2015 drama film directed by Max Joseph and stars Zac Efron, Emily Ratajkowski, Shiloh Fernandez, and Wes Bentley. Aspiring young DJ Cole Carter gets caught between a forbidden relationship with a woman who is already in a relationship and the high expectations of his friends as he tries to find the path in life that leads him to fame and glory. But soon he realizes that he has to choose between love, loyalty, and the career he is actually destined for. You're trying to be too many different people. I want a lot of switches. I want a lot of transitions. Yeah. That's what's crushing it now. All that was missing was a hashtag. Imitation is suicide. Emerson said that. Number eight. Neighbors 2014. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Are you our new neighbors? We're your new neighbors. Yeah. 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 Neighbors is a 2014 comedy film directed by Nicholas Stoller and stars Seth Rogen, Zac Efron, Rose Byrne, Dave Franco, and Christopher Mintz Plasse. Forced to live next to a fraternity house, a married couple with a newborn child tries to do anything in their power to take down the troublemakers next door to have a solid night's sleep back again. When the young men have multiple house parties during the week, both sides know that this neighborhood isn't big enough for the two of them. Well, hey man, if you guys ever need anything or we get too noisy, just talk to me or talk to Pete. We'll take care of it. Same with us. I mean, we get pretty loud over there. Yeah, yeah. We're Game busy. of Thrones, we get loud. When Khaleesi comes on, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Number seven. 17 again, 2009. Hey, it's Maggie's friends. Watch this. Hey, girls, how's it going? Do I know you? <laughs> What'd you do, Mug K Fed? <laughs> 17 Again is a 2009 comedy film directed by Burr Steers and stars Zac Efron, Leslie Mann, Thomas Lennon, Michelle Trachtenberg, and Matthew Perry. 37-year-old Mike O'Donnell is unsatisfied with how his life ended up because of some of the choices he made when he was a teenager. One small incident gives him a new chance, turning him into a 17-year-old high school student again. He decides to take this special opportunity to get the life he once wasn't able to live. And you didn't know that anything could be so small or so delicate and, and you feel that tiny heartbeat and you know that you couldn't love anything more in the whole world. Number 6. Liberal Arts 2012 Is your name... Ethan? No. Why? You look like an Ethan to me. Liberal Arts is a 2012 comedy drama film directed by, written by, and starring Josh Radner alongside Elizabeth Olsen, Richard Jenkins, Allison Janney, John Magaro, and Zac Efron. 35-year-old admissions officer Jesse Fisher gets himself invited to a professor's retirement party at his old university and quickly falls for the young 19-year-old college student Zibby. They share the same interests in literature and start to build a powerful bond with one another. But can a relationship with a 16-year age difference work out? Are you a student here? Uh, no. But, uh, thank you for thinking that. You? Nah, man. I'm just here visiting a buddy of mine. But it's not a bad place to kill a little time, huh? 
Number 5. The Lucky One, 2012. You don't know what I'm dealing with. I do know that you deserve better than this. The Lucky One is a 2012 romantic drama film directed by Scott Hicks and stars Zac Efron and Taylor Schilling. U.S. Marine Sergeant Logan Thibault travels to Louisiana after serving three war tours in Iraq with one photograph he found of a woman, which he believes was the good luck charm that kept him alive. After searching for this woman specifically, he finally finds her and tries to get to know who he thinks is his destiny. But her former husband won't make it easy for him. Sometimes the questions are complicated and the answers are simple. Hmm? Don't tell me. Voltaire? It's Voltaire, isn't it? It's Dr. Seuss. Number 4. Me and Orson Welles, 2008. Now here's a cute little lass. Oh, I like her face too. Hi, Richard. How's my favorite Equity Junior member? Fine. Me and Orson Welles is a 2008 period drama film directed by Richard Linklater and stars Zac Efron, Christian McKay, and Claire Danes. In 1937, the young aspiring actor Richard is cast in the Mercury Theatre production of Julius Caesar, directed by young Orson Welles. Richard is about to rise up fast during this one-week experience, battling with romances and the ups and downs of being an actor. Can he fulfill the high expectations of his strict director? Did you get a firm grip on your monkey bar? <laughs> hey, what's with Evelyn? I think she's got style. I like her style. I like her smile. I like her class. I like her other features. <laughs> Number three, The Disaster Artist, 2017. Give me five minutes. Five minutes? You want five fucking minutes, Denny? Well, I have five fucking minutes! The Disaster Artist is a 2017 biographical comedy film directed by James Franco and stars him with Dave Franco, Seth Rogen, Alison Brie, and Josh Hutcherson. It chronicles the unlikely friendship between budding actors Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero, who are rejected by Hollywood. Disappointed but still hopeful, the two decide to go on an adventure to Los Angeles and produce their own movie, which results in the production of Wiseau's 2003 film The Room widely considered one of the worst films ever made. I did not hit her. I... Okay, okay, wine. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Number 2. Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile, 2019. I find it absurd to ask for mercy for something that I did not do. Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile is a 2019 biographical crime thriller directed by Joe Berlinger and stars Zac Efron, Lily Collins, Kaya Skoladario, and John Malkovich. The movie tells the story of the serial killer Ted Bundy, who committed several heinous crimes against women and is mainly focused on his longtime girlfriend, Liz, whose life turns upside down when the love of her life gets arrested. You'd have made a good lawyer. I would have loved to have you practice in front of me. But you went a different way, partner. It has been a tragedy for this court to see the total waste of humanity that we have experienced here. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I'd like to audition, Miss Darbus. Time that has mean something in the world of theater, young lady. The individual auditions are long, long over, and there are simply no other pairs. I'll sing with her. Yeah. You handle SEC compliance? Uh, LP agreements. Oh, uh, man, I yeah. didn't know that. LLC agreements. You're shitting me. Being a corporate lawyer, you know, it's, it's got its upsides. Got it. You know what I'd rather do? What? I'd rather let Queen Latifah shit in my mouth from a fucking hot air balloon. What are you, Aquaman? Because I'm really confused on what you've been talking about. Come on, gold medal. You're afraid I'm gonna kick your Little Mermaid ass all over this course in front of all these people? I mean, now you're gonna have to beat me on the big boys course, princess. Number one, The Greatest Showman, 2017. You forget your place, Philip. My place? Mother, if this is my place, then I don't want any part of it. The musical biographical drama tells the story of P.T. Barnum, a penniless orphan who rises to stardom with his imaginative mind and extraordinary talent. 
Hugh Jackman wows the audience with his outstanding performance as P.T. Barnum. Although it received mixed to negative reviews from the critics, the movie was a huge commercial success. Directed by Michael Gracie and released in 2017, the movie is definitely a must-watch, especially for Hugh Jackman fans. I will take care of your daughter and I will give her life as grand as this one. She'll be back. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.